account, like I told you earlier, is a terminal operation. But it is also a reduction operation. By that, I mean reducing a set of elements in a stream into one value. So for counts, the value it reduces the elements into is into a number that represents the amount of elements. There is a method called reduce that enables us to perform a reduction operation ourselves. For example, I have a simple reduce call here. And I'm saying to reduce these elements, add A plus B. So what is A and what is B? Now, it starts with the first two elements. 2 is A and 10 is B. So it adds 2 and 10 and returns 12. Now, 12 becomes A for the next operation. It adds 12, which is A, and 5, which will be B. And then the result is 17. There isn't any other element, so it stops there, and then the result is 17. When we run it, we see an optional of 17, because the result is an optional. So we can call get, but we don't want to do that, so we can call or else, so that if it's empty, it can print out 0. Now, I hope you understood how the reduction operation went. I will give more examples so that you can see and understand how it operates. It gets the first value and the second value. Those two elements would be the A and B for the first operation. The answer of that first operation will be A for the next operation and the next element will be B. Now, if I call reduce on an empty string, it will print out zero because of the or else method. But if I call get, what do you think we will get? We will get an exception. Because when you call get on an empty optional, if we remember, we get an exception. So avoid that. Now, there's a different type of reduce method that takes in two arguments. The first argument is an identity. Now, this first argument will be used as a for the first operation. Let us run this. Now we see the answer is 17. But how did we get there? For the first operation, it is 0 plus 2. So 2 is A for the next operation. So it is 2 plus 10. The answer is 12. So 12 is A for the next operation. We have 12 plus 5, which gives us 17. Also, notice that we didn't need to call or else because the result isn't an optional. If the list was empty, it will simply return the identity. The identity is returned if the list is empty. If the identity was 10, it will be 10 plus 2, which is 12. The next call will be 12 plus 10, which is 22. The next call will be 22 plus 5, which is 27. And that is how it ended up in being 27. That happens when you use identity. So what happens when my identity is 1 and I call a multiplication? 
I see that the output is 100. That is because the first operation is 1 times 2, which is 2. The second is 2 times 10, which is 20. And the third is 20 times 5, which is 100. Once you get how reduce operates, you can begin to play with it and get different values. What if before multiplying or before adding, I added 10 to each of the elements? So I will say a plus 10 plus b plus 10. Can you guess what the answer of this will be? You can pause the video and see whether you will get the answer. Will you get the answer? So let's run it and see what is going to happen. We see 77. Let us see how 77 came about. Initially, remember that the identity is 0. So 0 is A. But I'm going to add 10 to A. So A or the first value is going to be 10. Now B is originally 2. But I'm going to add 10 to 2 making it 12. So the first operation is going to be 10 plus 12, which is 22. 22 becomes A of the next operation. But remember, I am adding 10 to A. So 10 will be added to 22 again, making it 32. B, which is 10, 10 will be added to 10, making it 20. So 32 plus 20 is 52. 52 becomes A of the next operation. And we add 10 to it, which makes it 62. Now, B of the next operation, which is that last element, is 5. But I'm adding 10 to B, so making it 15. The last operation is 62 plus 15 giving us 77. That is how we got at 77. When you play with examples like this, you can better understand how reduce works. Reduce can be used to do different operations, but at the end, it gets a stream of elements and returns a value. Now, if I remove the identity, I will get a slightly different value. Of course, now it is an optional that will be returned, but the actual value is 57. And that is because we no longer have our initial identity that 10 was added to. So you can find out how this got to 57 by yourself. I have given you enough examples. Next time, if you see reduce, you should better understand how it operates. Sometimes you want to reduce a stream and there is no method to do what you want to do. You can call the reduce method and perform the operation you wish to perform.